What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mello with Marty's Buick GMC and Chevrolet and in today's video we'll be talking about a new 2023 GMC Yukon GT and asking the very important question of the series, would you buy one? If you're new to the channel or maybe you're just coming back for more, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for weekly news and updates on all things GM. Now let's get into it. All right, so since its debut in 1991 for the 1992 model year, the Yukon has transformed the experience of highway cruising and off-road exploring. One particular model that has always been a fan favorite of GM enthusiasts, myself included, is of course the Yukon GT. Powered by a 5.7 liter V8 producing 210 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque, the Yukon GT was a more sporty version of the Yukon with its more monochromatic trim, color-keyed grille, and wheel arches. It was available in a multitude of different colors, with black being the most popular, and you could even get the GT with a manual transmission, something that is essentially unheard of in SUVs today. In fact, God, I can even get a car anymore. A few, of course, but you know what I mean. I actually remember when I was, uh, I think it was my freshman year of high school when my good friend's older brothers got a black Yukon GT, and he instantly became like the coolest kid around. I'll never forget seeing it for the first time with that big red GT decal on the side and of course hearing the Flowmaster exhaust system that was I'm pretty sure installed the exact same week that he got the thing. Mark, if you're watching this, I hope all is well, buddy. Now, obviously today a lot has changed and the Yukon as we know it has of course continued to evolve as it's now in its fifth generation. And although there are plenty of things I miss about the older Yukons, there is certainly plenty to love about the new ones as well. And if I'm honest, with some of these SUVs that automakers have been building recently, like the 710 horsepower Durango Hellcat or uh, what is it, 707 horsepower Jeep Trackhawk, the 600 horsepower Mercedes AMG GLE 63S or Audi's RS Q8 or BMW's X5M, whatever it is, it certainly seems like there's an ever-growing demand for performance-based SUVs. I mean, God, even, even Lamborghini jumped on board the performance SUV bandwagon with the Urus and it led to record sales. Q1 of this year, believe it or not, was actually Lamborghini's single most successful quarter ever. And much of that success is due to the Urus. So much so that even Ferrari is now working on an SUV of its own. And don't forget, GM just dropped the microphone with the official reveal of the 682 horsepower 2023 Escalade V. So all of this stuff kind of got me thinking. With the obvious demand for high performance SUVs and GM being currently void of a contender in that space, what if GMC brought back the Yukon GT? What would that vision look like? And of course, would you buy one? Well, with little help from my good friend and super talented artist, Oscar Vargas, known on Instagram as WBArtist20, we actually put our heads together and came up with this right here, a 2023 GMC Yukon GT. And to say that I love this thing might just be an understatement. My favorite part of the build, which is most likely also the most controversial one, is the two-door configuration. Oscar and I discussed this a bit, and we decided that we really wanted the true Yukon GT look, so we felt two-door was the way to go. This would also give the GT a more unique offering since full-size SUVs in this configuration have essentially gone the way of the Dodo. Me personally, I love full-size two-door SUVs. Maybe that's just me. As for my second favorite thing about this build, it's gotta be the stance. We've got a beautiful factory wide body kit with massive blacked out 15 spoke concave forged wheels that you almost can't take your eyes off of. You're probably looking at them right now. And they make a point not to hide the Brembo big brake kit with drilled rotors. We need to make sure this big boy stops on a dime after all. And if we quickly look at another angle on the GT, you'll get a better idea of why I love the stance of this thing just so much. The wheel and tire combo sit nearly flush with the body, giving you just enough poke to let you know that you've got some seriously wide rubber underneath it. And since we're back here, I suppose we should probably address the Corvette-inspired center exit quad exhaust system, the roof spoiler. I mean, anyone else in love with this thing as much as I am yet? I actually think that I like this even more than the 2023 Tahoe SS we discussed in a previous video. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But if we jump back up to the front of the GT, we get a much better idea as to just how wide this thing really is. Not to mention how aggressive with the all black appearance. The only exceptions being of course the red badging and tow hooks to match, which of course tie in perfectly to the Bremble brakes that I mentioned earlier. This thing just works. GMC's signature LED headlights continue to be a major focal point on the front end, and we also have a well-sculpted cowl induction hood, adding just another layer to the aggressive appearance of the Yukon GT. 
Now, as for what goes under the hood, Oscar and I tossed around a few different ideas, one of which was the 1,004 horsepower Chevy ZZ632 crate engine. But if we're being honest, the most likely scenario would be the same 682 horsepower supercharged 6.2 liter V8 that will, of course, be found in the upcoming Escalade V. Additional things that we toyed around with were a clamshell opening hood, as well as a pair of vertical doors, because we already went so crazy with this thing, why not just keep the ball going? All in all, I think in a world where consumers seem to be craving high-performance SUVs, the Yukon GT would check off every single box and then some. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And of course, answer the question of the series, would you buy one? Or maybe you'd prefer the smaller, more nimble performance SUV, like the Acadia GT we talked about a few weeks ago. I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. As always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you made it this far in the video, if you could help me out by just smashing that like button, it really helps me out in a big way. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to check out my friends over at gmpartsdepartment.com for all your GM OEM parts needs, and I will see you all in the very next video. Thanks again for watching, and take care.